Hey YouTube, and this is a quick video on something that I found out to improve. Basically, it improves the performance of a graphics ASUS GTX 550 Ti. Now, the operating system I'm running now is Lion. I've gone back to Lion because I couldn't get Mountain Lion to run stable. Well, everything ran stable apart from the graphics card, which was um, a bit of a bugger. So anyway, I've come back to... Um, Lion 10.74 and well I was actually I've always used the system definition as a, is it this the SM bias as a Mac Pro 3.1 which should say somewhere here um, if I can see it here, here it is Mac Pro 3.1 and I've never really thought now of it but the, the other day when I'd been on Mountain Lion um couple of people had talked about the Apple graphics power management text um, but I read that it doesn't load if you use the MacBook Pro MacBook Pro 3.1 system definition so I actually edited it in Mountain Lion and tried it and it made the graphics a bit smoother to be honest but it, it didn't fix the, 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 the crashing and the screen tears so I've come back to Lion and I thought to myself um, yet last night i thought oh, i'll try it on me on my lion so instead of choosing macbook pro 3.1 i chose a uh, high mac 12.1 for the system definition and then so that it load the, the the apple graphics power management text so if i just go here i'm going to show you how to do it in a minute but about this mac now um it's really it just seems quite a bit smoother on graphics um we go to extensions and you'll see that we've got the Apple graphics power management kex loaded up, which I've never really used, and it, and it actually ran stable without it on Lion. But I did notice sometimes the graphics just seemed a little bit jerkier. And this is one thing I noticed as well. I'll just open OpenCL Benchmark. Now, when I used to run this without the Apple graphics power management kex, it used to run at about 70 frames for about three seconds and then speed up. But now it seems to be just instantly, and um, it's just look started off at 160 frames straight away, and there's no lag on it. 181. Sometimes I get 229 there, but as you can see, I've clicked on it, and it hasn't. It's it's going the the water whatever it is is going at full speed. But before I had a slight little lag, um, 208 frames that time, and that seems to have gone away. So. You need to load the 12.1 Mac definition. But if I'm just going to show you something, I'm going to show you where this is situated so that you know to have a go at yourself. So if you go to your root of your hard drive and go to Systems, Library, um, Extensions, and then you look for your Apple Graphics Power Management Kex. Now that's the one that's actually installed. Um, and I'll just um, show the package contents on that and show you what I did. Oh, but yeah, you've got to... Have show all files so you need to download the little app that will show all files or you won't see the info p list the first time you come in you'll wonder what everybody's talking about and think well I can't see an info p list and it's because you need to show all files anyway so if I click on it now this is the edited version and all you've got to do if you're going to use the 12.1 definition you're near enough want to be about three quarters at way down and you're looking here I'll just I'll find it there's loads of different Macs, like there's your, your server there. I'll go a bit further down. There's your iMac 11.1 there. Look, we want 12.1. 11.2 there. 12.1 there. Now, I'm going to show you this key. This key here, this vendor ID, that's what I pasted in. Um, so that when I choose the iMac 12.1 definition, it actually... I'll show you what it says default there now on the backup of the kex. We'll go back to the backup kex. And here's a prime example. You see how I can't see the info p list? So I need to show all files. So that's where you need the app. Um, how was it? Nope, it's not there. Mac new shit. That'll do, mate. Show all files. Show. Sure. And you'll see now when we go back to... I'm just going to leave that one up. We're out there. Can you see on the original... You see how you can see the info p list and you couldn't see it before? So if we now it open with text edit. 
Now this is the original. Um, by the way, to edit this, I copied I copied the full text, the Apple Graphics Power Management text to the desktop. I then edited it, which I'm going to show you now how to do. And then I used Kex Utility, which is here, to install it. And it made a back. This is the backup of the original. It automatically renames your normal Kex to from dot Kex to dot back, and it puts your new one in. But anyway. Without trying to bore you, we'll just go down the list and find the, the iMac 12.1 again. That's a MacBook Pro. We need to go further. Say there. Let's have a look. What we 11.1, 11.3, 12.1. I've missed it. Look, there it is. Look. So if I just move this across, um, and we'll just go. Now, if you look, they're actually in line. If we just go. Um, sorry, no, they're not. Don't know what, uh, yeah, they are. If I just go up there, there, yeah, and that's your default line there. So you can see that's the line edited. I took away that GFX10 and I pasted in that vendor ID. Now, obviously, you can get your vendor ID from about this Mac. Now, I'll show you in a minute. If we go to System Report Graphics Display Adapters, you can see that it is a a 1244 is the device and it's a 10DE. So if you look here, it's it's vendor 10DE, which is vendor 10DE, look. And that's what it says. And then it says device 1244, which is what my graphics card is. Yours, I assume you can use this for, for any graphics card. And, and, you, and you just paste it into there. Um, so it would be vendor 10.DE, vendor whatever yours is device yours might be 1066 uh, paste it in and save it all out and then what you'll do is you'll use kex utility and you'll the one that you've edited on your desktop you'll drag it into kex utility and it'll install let me just hide these files because you don't really want them always showing and it'll um Install your new Kex to make a backup of the original. And it, and it's as simple as that. And you'll find out that your graphics will be a lot, lot more smoother. Like like when you're just clicking stuff like, like that there. Sometimes when I'd click on it, it'd come up as quick, but it'd just be a little bit jerky. Do you know what I mean? And it just seems better now. And to be in all fairness, to not have that, there's definitely something great going on here. Because to be able to click that and it's instantly going like Joe 90, I'm not getting a second lag or anything like that whereas before i think you'll find out if you've got the macbook pro 3.1 system definition in you'll see that when you click that it, it does start straight away but you get a very little frame rate and then it speeds up and that must be a little bit of lag on your open cl or something anyway thanks for watching oh hang on multi beast to install you get the latest multi beast 4.61 i'll just show you this for anybody who's not right sure and you go to customization uh, system definitions and you can go iMac and you change it to a 12.1 and then that kex that you've just edited when you restart your computer by the way this is a z77-ds3h i assume i could have done it under a mac pro because if you if you go down the list in that info.p list there's actually a few macs and um, you could probably do it under mac pro um, and then choose the mac pro definition but I've just the way I was taught was to do it this way and there wasn't really a video on YouTube that showed you how to do it and once you've done it like I've copied that kex now onto a USB stick and I've got it on a backup hard drive so if I format I don't have to do it even though it's only a bloody two second job you've only got to copy your, dev your vendor ID and your device ID in, and all it does is so that when the Apple graphics power management kex loads for the 12.1 Mac iMac it'll know your card because you've listed it so that it can control your card. I mean, I don't know exactly how it bloody works, but it, it does work and it gives you smoother graphics. Um, even though if you can't be bothered with it, it did work okay without, but I just noticed little bits of lag here and there. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope this video helps.